akin. Get up. <laughs> oh, I love Christmas. I can never sleep, so I have to get up, but then I get so excited, I have to have a lie down again, which is so silly, isn't it? <laughs> I have been thinking all year about giving you one, and now I'm going to. <laughs> present, I mean. I've got some brilliant presents for people. But Maggie, I've got the best one for you. Oh, Kevin, that's really sweet of you. But I wish you hadn't. I haven't got you anything. Maggie, I didn't give you a present because I wanted one back. I never even thought about you getting one for me. Well, that's all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> And I got a special present for Inspector Fowler. I wanted to get him something really special, you know, just to show how much I appreciate him. And what did you get him then? A punch a repair kit. <laughs> and I bought Maggie some lingerie. What's lingerie? Posh pants. Like, <laughs> like your undies, only more expensive. Thermals, you mean. <laughs> That's an excellent present. Yes, it can get very nippy up your kyber these long nights. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's talking about lingerie, which is French for four. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Got us some silky knickers. Split crotch? Well, I hope not. Only bought them this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dead sexy. Knickers in a bra. I was that embarrassed buying them. I had to say they were for me. <laughs> There's only one set of underwear you want to give her, mate. Yours. You'll itch up your boxers and say, there's a wrapping doll, the present's inside. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, it's all right, son. You know, fellas that talk about it most do it least. I know. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> and I haven't had any sense of days of Harold Wilson. <laughs> I never knew you had a gay relationship. <laughs> what are you talking about? This bloke Harold Wilson you were having it with. Kevin, he was a prime minister. <laughs> Blimey! And you an ordinary copper, you did do well. <laughs> I do.